Hey guys, um, Sweetie the Fox here, and today I'm reading a backstory that, um, one of my friends, Linda, made, and she showed me on Whatapad, so, yeah, so let's begin. Sadie lived in a hospital after what happened to her mom, brother, and her older sister that night in the house. She was still recovering from the fire, bandages all over her face. When the nurse came in, she was talking about Tibby being a monster, and you're safe now. Sally just wanted to smack that dumb face off. I'm not supposed to swear, but okay. Dumb F face off, but she knew she would get in trouble and hurt her more because Sally's not that strong. After a few weeks, she was released from the hospital. She was 19 years old. God damn. God damn. That means she can live by herself, but when she bought a place to live, she started to see things and hear things. At the time, she was in love with a good pasta called Eilish Jack. She loved to read, read his back story all day, every day, and all night. On her 20th birthday, she got enough money to go to Massachusetts. So she got on a plane to go there. When she got there, Sally bought a place there to live there and to become a doctor there. And well, after when she got fired, she couldn't help to control her anxiety. But her friends, friends over there told her about kidneys. She decided to give them a try, and when she did, it, it really helped. But when she ran out of kidneys, she went insane. And when her friends invited Saudi over, she chopped them up and, and until she spotted a kidney after but a cult member did a sacrifice of Sadie. They said the scheme of the cannibalism. It actually worked. After the sacrifice, Sadie went, went back home. But when she opened the, opened up the door, she, I was struck with in front of her. Sadie thought she was hallucinating. But she wasn't. It was really a him. Before she could say, EJ. Before he could say, EJ. J. He vanished. So, she had an idea. She found a couple that doctors that study keep before she was fired. She grabbed the scalpel and stabbed it in her eyes. She was touching ever and felt a mask like this. I'm just going to say thing. Mask like thing. She put it on and she was right, it was a mask. And she had to walk cautiously around the house and finally found a jacket like feel. And she put it on. And Alan Shrek was right behind Sadie. He touched Sadie's shoulder and said, How do you feel, Sadie? Sadie was. Sadie said, Perfect. Also, she was confused about why EJ. N- no. No. N- now? Know her name? But she decided to forget it. He is her now. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Boy!